we gotta address something very important you said. Ooh. You said something on the internet that mm. I didn't like, you know? Uh -oh. I didn't think this was cool. You listed the top five white songs, and honestly, I thought that was hella fucking inaccurate. I'm, I, gonna, yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, the video, it didn't do well, so maybe it was, maybe it was <laughs> inaccurate. Bro, I listened to that show, I was like, all right, nah, he's wilding right now, bro. I'm gonna listen in order. Mm -hmm. He said, number five, Party in the USA. No, go ahead, explain go ahead. it? No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> all right, number five, Party in the USA. Number four, Cotton Eye Joe. Number three, Lose Yourself. Number two, Mr. Brightside. Number one, Sweet Caroline. So I feel about that list. So I did have an entire. I had. I actually. I consulted the. Um, I consulted the, the, the white delegation. Yes, I, I'm in a group chat with uh, <laughs> a lot of white people. Yeah, you um, started a group chat with white people. Just <laughs> just figure out this. Like, no, I, I need I your need, help. I need but, it. But that's pretty much what happened. And then so we got together like 40 songs, right? Mm -hmm. It was a lot. I was gonna do a couple. I was gonna do a couple parts of this, but yeah. this one had gotten taken down originally. So I didn't want to like do more. I don't know what I had said or what I did that got it taken down. But I, I did repost it uh, a couple months later. Yeah. But um, the way I structured that was also hopefully like I was hoping it would be based around like boosting the algorithm. So the first one I said was party in the USA might not necessarily be true, but I thought that would be like an attention grabber. That's what a lot <laughs> yeah. of people think of when they think of like white America songs. Oh, so, man, so, man. so and also I wanted to base it. I wanted it to continue to kind of go up you know so if, if it was like very accurate i mean it might have done better sweet but, caroline was accurate yeah I, I wanted it to be more songs that be like whether it be like oh i can't believe he said this or like that'd be a little controversial right yeah, yeah. so yeah. all right mm. uh, i, I, Joe. Mm. I yeah. had my top five of white people so i'm not gonna mm. lie what, is it just me or what, in elementary school did they hold you hostage to do the kind that's, that's exactly why i thought of that yeah. fucking i was you thinking, never had to do the kind of joe in high school and i mean elementary school I remember, I don't know, this is maybe it was Long Island. I, I went to high, elementary school in Long Island at one point, mm -hmm. and I remember vividly being in a gymnasium yeah, like field day. with them right. blasting yeah. Cotton Eye Joe, and they taught us the moves. They were like, heel, heel, toe, toe, back mm -hmm. up. Oh, you was back, walking? Up, yeah, turn, <laughs> up, yeah like bro. Was, hey. nah, I remember the whole, they had a whole hey. thing. Was to Cotton Eye Joe the first 30? <laughs> it was the. I could probably still do it. The, the, they had a song just for the moves. It was heel, Where heel, toe, toe, to toe back and up. Yeah, some kind of joke. That, that is exactly what made me think of that. Doing <laughs> yeah, that shit that's out crazy. in the that's middle crazy. of, yeah, just that? standing out in grass, just dancing my fucking socks because it was field day. Like, Meanwhile, why has Joe got cotton in his eye? Yeah, I was like, well, why? Why were you doing it on the field? Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You see the science here? So like, <laughs> mm -hmm. were the white people doing so it? Or was it just everybody, like, people of color? That's mm -hmm. questions you need to be asked. Like, mm -hmm. these are, um, yeah. I never did that shit. Mm -hmm. Sweet Caroline is definitely accurate. Yeah, that's what I'm like, Sweet Caroline and Mr. Brightside. Sweet, have you Mr. ever Brightside. heard, have you ever heard Mr. Brightside come on at a bar? Now, where I live, I there's a lot of Mr. white folks. Brightside folk. in general. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, all right. So, so Mr. Bright. Yeah. yeah, no, it's different. Uh, it's killing me. When you hear that <laughs> shit, when you hear that shit in a bar, them white folks, they power up, bro. You seen oh, Stranger Things yeah. where they float oh. up into the air? That's what's going on when that fucking song come out in the bar. I got to take cover, bro. I got like... Uh, I've mm. never heard that in McKeeves, Dizzy yeah, Lizards, that, none of that even, shit. Even, even uh, Sweet Caroline, it's like, touch it. It starts slow, touch it. But Sweet Caroline hands. is a thing, though. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> bro, pop, pop. Like, you hear that? You hear that in, like, a stadium? You think that yeah, it's, like, you, yeah. this is 8.5, bro. Like, you get down. Uh, shit is shaking, man. <laughs> the one you missed, I think you needed on there, was living on a prayer. Thank you. Uh, Let me give you my top five. Let me give you my top halfway five. Halfway mm. there. Right. Top five greatest white people songs of all time. <laughs> Number five, All American Rejects, Gives You Hell. Mm -hmm. Number four, Misery Business by Paramore. Number three, Sweet Caroline. Number two... And most important, because this is like riot music, mm -hmm. we will rock you. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. And number one, okay. living on a prayer, because after you storm the Capitol, <laughs> you're really hoping shit gonna work out for you. Like, like, <laughs> they ain't got nothing to worry about. Them you motherfuckers know, ain't gotta worry about <laughs> shit. Those, you know, are, those are the top five white people songs of all time, and no one can tell me shit. Honorable mm -hmm. mentions, Hotline Bling, and any song Hotline that excessively says nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and Panic, Panic of Disco. That. That, I, I could have thrown that people songs. Uh, I like your top five black people songs. Oh, imagine. <laughs> yeah, I love, oh, I love that. Yo, that shit come, I heard that's in the club. Like, yo, why are grown men going crazy to this? Shit, I would have went crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know why, though, because it was during, like, the heavy, like, our teenage years where AMVs were a thing. So they would take the music and put it to an, um, an anime. So it would be like a Naruto AMV. So you would see <laughs> Naruto beating the shit out of Sasuke <laughs> to panic at the disco. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. just fucking, or, or, or Linkin Park. Like, 
I tried so hard. Yes, I, I can oh see Vegeta fucking going Super Saiyan to that damn song like, <laughs> Yo, right now. Facts. That is really okay. the staple of our childhood that we'll never get back. I'm not gonna lie, I was the one. I was one of the people that was creating those videos. <laughs> I was on YouTube. Uh, I was 12 years old. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put this song, Linkin Park, yeah, on this anime, Goku being someone up. Yeah. I feel like you was the type of nigga to look up to see if uh, Super Saiyan 10 existed. Uh, well, that's what I, we all were at one point. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here with you. Oh so, man! I actually remember specifically that the first time, this is like when I first time I remember hearing uncensored music. I was watching one of those music videos, and it was "Lose My Mind" by DMX, right? And it was yeah. a fight where Naruto and Sa this is original Naruto, like at the end of the series where they're fighting like on water, oh, right? And I was like, yeah. "Oh, I want to see this." I click on it, and I've been listening to the censored version like mm. for however long, however many years. I see that, and it, and then he, this dude is just yelling, just talking about pussy and dick, and I was like, oh my, I turned it off, I was like, what is this? I was like, what is this? This man is cursing. And then it was all just downhill from there, and the internet just got worse and worse, you know? I think it got exposed to the yeah. elements and couldn't control it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's actually fucking funny. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, hearing songs like Uncensored after years, it blows your mind. That's yeah. what they were saying the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have listen on a radio. You notice know that Sean Kingston was the one that blew my mind, the suicidal, because it, it oh. was in the, the chorus was like, You're in denial on the radio, it's in denial, in yeah. denial. I'm like, Yo, why is he dead? Why is he suicidal over some pussy? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, it's going crazy. Oh, I get it. These bitches make me want to fucking kill myself. Bro. <laughs> yeah. like, for real. Like, I'm like, Yo, he made a whole anthem for that. That's crazy. Yeah. That's really nah, <laughs> yo, you think about censored music, though. That really is something you really was singing the song with passion. Like, like, little nigga be on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, little nigga be on my dick. And he'll be like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, Damn, I thought it was, eh. like, I thought that was a lyric. Innocent as hell. Like. <laughs> I called him a lyrical genius for that one. Like, I was like, yo, you rhymed Tygo and eh. But you really meant pussy. Like, like, now I know. That's just oh, crazy. Man. It's classic. Nah, but, um... Yeah, Party in the USA is not a top five. I'm sorry. Really? Sorry on that one, Duke. Because really? that one ain't gone. You know why? Because she ruined it when Ooh, she the, decided. Like the rebrand? Yeah, yeah, when she wanted to be a nigga. You know what, <laughs> you know what white people love is when you take like beats like, like Party in the USA and then you just put Biggie over it. That's what they don't, yo, they bro, go don't crazy. Get me you know how many <laughs> That's times? That's kind of hard. Though. I just clicked the button. I hope it didn't do nothing. Nah, there no, you go. Rally, rally. But uh, you know how many times I've been at a party and like. Testing, testing. All right. How many times I've been at a party and mm -hmm. a white girl be like, she's just unprovoked. I love Biggie. Like, ain't nobody <laughs> ask you. No, like, I don't, I did not ask you that fucking question. And she's like, you know, Black I Black lives like, do matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I like Juicy, uh, and, more money, more problems. That's it. That's and it you, know, you know, it's only mashups they listen to. Yeah. Or, or it's some white girl doing an acoustic cover of Biggie with a guitar. <laughs> you know what I mean? First off, fuck no. your bitch in the click you claim. Side till we die. <laughs> Well, that was the fucking you know ukulele. With the fucking, yeah, it's just like, yo, relax. That's crazy. Uh, I've never experienced that either. I've um, never had a white woman walk up to me to like get like a black common ground on me, like, yo, like, I mean, Drake do write his bars. <laughs> and, she's like, you know, what? and you just respond, I like Paramoy. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that what I got to do to get a turn around and die? <laughs> yo, start saying weird shit. Yeah. Lincoln Park. Oh my God. Like, yeah, is, that, is that what I got to do? If you really want a white woman, you could do that. Justin Bieber. What's up, Sam? He's going through it. You saw oh, his face? Shit. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Yeah, you was know, I felt bad for five minutes. You want to know what ruined it? What? One less lonely nigga. Yep. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. And <laughs> then I gave him I gave him a benefit of the doubt. I was like, you know, he's a kid. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Then they showed that he got arrested in some country, whatever, because he made a, a monkey, like a racist monkey. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Damn, Damn, I'm crazy. trying to feel bad for you right it's now. Te it's temporary to make you feel better. People thought our shit was permanent because he's was. Yeah, like, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's like I thought it was permanent. It lasts like a week or two. Like, okay. he'll be all right. Yeah, he'll be oh. all right. Apparently, it's because he got COVID and, like, some shingles. other illness at the same time. Shingles at the same time. And it's Fuck. like, you know, you get the two-time diseases, you get fucked up. Shingles is crazy. Yeah. Ugh. I got his age? Yeah, Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> My, and COVID at the same time? That's crazy. Man, yeah. the immune system is going through it, bro. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Well, maybe stop saying nigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 at what point in time do we get to be like, all right, this is your fault? The believers are going to come after us, bro. That's true. What, believers? Mm -hmm. Don't suck my dick. <laughs> oh, suck shit. my unit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> what, what are you going to say? I don't know. What are you going to say if you're a believer? You don't want that smoke? I want the smoke. You want 300? Well, they're probably like 17-year-old girls now, but back in the day, they were like nine-year-olds. Probably grown-ass adults. Yeah, probably like grown 27. Now. We're 27. Justin Bieber was out when we were kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. 27, 30. I, remember, I was, I was out weird. there. I'm baby, not, baby. I'm not going to lie. I was, oh. I was hating on that nigga because he got bitches. Yeah. And now I'm old enough to admit it. 110%. That was the only reason I didn't like him. Yeah. I was like, he got hoes and I had none. And this I, is crazy. Yeah, that's facts. This might be the wildest <laughs> thing I'll ever say. Oh. And this will be the only thing Zeus will be, able, Batman will be able to get out of me. I remember when I was a kid. Actually, you know, this is not crazy. I think most black people felt like this. But I remember when I was a kid, like, you got high school musical, mm -hmm. and they were really pushing, like, pop music and shit like that. I always, I didn't know at the time because I was a fucking child, but I always felt like something was different. Like, all right, like, this is what it takes to be successful. My fucking stupid ass thought it was the hair. So I was like, oh, if I have the hair and I can do this, like. You are trying to get the Justin Bieber bowl yeah, cut? No, I wasn't trying. I just kept doing this. <laughs> with a fucking light Caesar. Like, <laughs> looking like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, but I soon realized it was just, they're white. <laughs> and that's why they're successful. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, you gotta be white. I thought it was the mm -hmm. hair. I thought it was the bangs. Like, no, oh, yeah. I can't see. But I would do that so oh, fucking man. much. I, so I was trying to imagine we'd like hair relaxers and fucking straight. I, I did that. Relaxer. I relaxed my hair once. Oh, and <laughs> bro, it was so I've done it like a lot of times, and uh -huh. usually it'll be like it'll be all right. But this one time, I left it in for like almost twenty minutes, mm -hmm. and I think this was I think this was the first time we did it. This shit was like flowing in the wind, bro. Mm -hmm. This shit when I would get out the pool, it looked like I was like an emo kid from Tumblr. Yeah. I just looked there. Like, yeah, that's exactly. Cut my life on. into pieces. Oh my god, that's what I'm <laughs> exactly. this is my last resort. <laughs> Check this out, my case, son. No breathing. That's nah, niggas don't know. <laughs> niggas don't know. Don't give a fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> like I said, that and We Will Rock You really got me fucking going. <laughs> and I didn't even really go to a white school like that. Like, Valley Stream was pretty, like, well demographed. Like, yeah. it was decent, you mm -hmm. know, so. That was crazy. So, you, you were just growing up as a kid, just in denial, you didn't have Justin Bieber hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. I, what's up, shorty? <laughs> hey. Yeah. What are you doing later? <laughs> Black um, lives don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Not to me anyway. All, li all me. lives. Uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, maybe they don't know need to vote. <laughs> What's the three-fifth compromise? <laughs> oh, man. If you ask me, we need more police on the streets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. White nah, lives matter. Where's that, you know? Growing up in Long Island really is a funny thing, though, because yeah. you really don't know no better. <laughs>